Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video. And today we have got another Team of the Week review for you guys. And it is going to be 84 Berghaus, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, the Ajax, well he is now a cam. He does also have a one to watch, which is a right winger card. Which will also get upgraded. Um, but yeah, this one's a cam, which I think probably suits this card more looking at the stats. But we'll take a look at the card itself, see how it performs in game, then justify the price. At the moment, I think he's looking at around 30k. Um, so we'll see if he's worth that. So he is six foot tall with medium, medium work rates, left footed with four star skills and three star weak foot. Now, obviously, six foot is quite tall for a cam. The work rates are okay, I guess. Um, but the skill moves are good and the weak foot is a little bit low with three star, especially as a cam. See, this maybe lends itself to maybe looking at more maybe a right forward cutting in on his left foot or as I used him in a 4-3-2-1 as one of the outside centre mids because that takes a little bit of pressure off them. Doesn't mean they necessarily need to be box to box, uh, but takes a little bit of pressure off them needing to use both feet. But jumping into the attributes themselves, Pace is looking nice already. It's a nice split with the 87 acceleration, so he'll get up to speed really quickly. And in midfield, you know, acceleration is going to be a lot more important than the sprint speed to that. Both are good. Base shooting is already pretty nice. 80 attack positions do good. 83 finishing, the shot power and the long shots, all really good where it matters. I mean, that 79 volleys is dragging that down a bit already. Uh, the passing is pretty much exceptional. 86 vision is very good. 86 short passing, 84 long passing, and 90 curve is all very good, as you'd expect on a decent cam card. And with that as well, dribbling, absolutely everything other than the balance is above 80, which is very good. 80 agility as well, man of six foot tall is lovely. Balance a little bit low, but you would expect that on a card this tall. Defending we're not too bothered about, um, but then the physicals, 82 stam is, is, is good enough for a cam. Is it good enough for a centre mid for all game? Probably not, um, but the aggression and the strength are okay as well. In terms of traits, he has got the finesse shot trait and the outside of the foot shot trait, which are both really, really positive things to have on him. Looking at the card, it's hard to say where he fits in, really. It does look like a good card, you know, with those four sort of attacking stats all above 80. It does look very nice. Uh, whether you go, as I have here, with a Hunter, I've also tried him with an Engine as well, is debatable depending on the position you want to put him in. Uh, the Engine will obviously boost up that Dribbling even further, maybe make him a little bit more responsive at the cost of the shooting, obviously, um, and a little bit of pace too. So it depends where you want to play him, what sort of positions you're going to get him into, but he's already got very good stats across those sort of four areas, so it's up to you, really. But let's jump into some gameplay and see how he performs. So, as I said, you know, with this card, there's a number of positions you could play him in. There's an argument to be made with a Hunter that, you know, he's probably good enough to play up front. You know, 94 pace, 94 shooting once you've got a Hunter and full cam on him with good passing and dribbling. And I think he'd suit that quite well because he is a bit taller, which maybe doesn't lend itself as well to a cam position. So, for me, I think you either want to be looking at using him more as a centre mid, not necessarily box to box, but, you know, in a position maybe in a three, as I said, which offers a little bit more flexibility with it, or as a striker. Um, because for me, you know, he's got very, very good stats. He is a little bit... I uh, don't want to use the word clunky because, you know, he isn't. But he is six foot tall, so he's not going to feel like a, a typical nippy, sort of messy Bernardo Silva type cam as you would want maybe in the, in the number 10 position. But if you forget about his position and think of him more as just a player, you know, you, if you want to lose him up front or as a centre mid, he is very, very good. Now... For starters, the thing that stands out massively is the passing. The passing is absolutely superb. Really, really enjoyed using him because the passing, the balls you can pick out for your wingers and your striker throw on goal are absolutely excellent. And, you know, with the stats, you would imagine that because uh, because they are so good. He didn't feel slow at all. You know, I did have a hunter on him and an engine on him in the, in the various games I played. And I think with both of them, I think you need at least the plus five and ideally the plus ten. Um, made him feel pretty quick. The acceleration is already good. Um, you could tell maybe a little bit that the balance was slightly lower because he is taller. He was a bit sort of more slower to turn, but not to the point where it was a problem. Uh, the dribbling felt very good on the ball, you know, moving the ball from side to side was very, very good. And, and shooting was fairly positive as well. You know, he's already got 88 long shots and that is probably, you know, unless you're playing him up front, where you're going to be shooting from is, is from distance and they were very good. Um, and with that, you know, attacking positioning, he was getting up and down very well. Medium, medium is fine, especially if he is to be used as a centre mid. Um, the only thing that lets this card down, and it is, you know, quite a big issue, is the three-star weak foot. It does really limit you. You know, it makes you quite predictable in terms of how you're going to use him. As with any card with three-star weak foot, you know, it's fine for the simple stuff. You know, easy shots or simple passes, uh, it's absolutely fine. But anything a little bit more difficult of a task is not going to go well on his right foot. So you do have to bear that in mind. 
but he is extremely linkable with all the good cards coming out at the moment in the Eredivisie. He's also perfect links uh, Gravenberg, who will be more likely than not getting a double upgrade going up to an 86 and looking like an absolute monster of a card. So this guy does have some very, very good links into him. You know, a lot of people have got those free objective cards recently, like the Macintosh and the like and he does link well to all of them so it's a very viable option um, and I think he's a really you know good option good fun card to, to fit into a lot of fun different teams uh, so I think for the price yeah he's, he's more than worth it all right guys that does bring me to the end of the video I hope that's helped you make a decision on him if it has please leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one peace